So welcome to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be doing the uh, yearly or 100 hour maintenance on my Mercury 75 horsepower outboard on my 2022 Tracker uh, TXW175 and I'm nowhere near 100 hours but uh, it has been a year since I bought the boat and it's spring here in Georgia and getting ready to get out and do some fishing in the next week so I'm going to go ahead and do the maintenance for the year and get it over with and uh, that way I should be good to go all summer long and uh, yeah so um, like I said this is I'm gonna put links in the uh, description below for uh, Amazon if anybody needs it um, but all of my stuff I went and got from uh, Cabela's my local Cabela's uh, tracker boat center parts department um, that's where I got the boat and they've got my serial number and all the information and so they were able to hook me up with the right uh, fuel filter and oil filter um, and so uh, but you know if you don't have a, a place around to go get it I put some I'm gonna put some Amazon links in there for you so um, and this maintenance should be pretty much the same on the Mercury 75 90 and 115 um, now the, the actual filters may be a different part number but the the routine itself should be the same for those as well so thanks All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the prop and um, behind the prop is gonna be the drain plug for the foot oil and uh, we'll start with that, let that start draining and then we'll uh, get started on uh, taking the cowl off and uh, start draining the oil for the engine itself. This prop nut has a couple of tabs on it. Right there and right there. So we'll take those, spread them with a flathead screwdriver first, and then uh, we'll take this nut off. Now you can see on this, the flat piece goes back. Here's our drain plug right here. actually start draining until you remove the fill plug 
right here. See, once you start removing, remove that plug, it gives you plenty of, it allows the air, allows that photo to drain out. Uh, of course, you always want to check your oil and make sure there's no uh, excessive amount of moisture in there, or excessive, or any uh, metal shavings that would indicate a problem. And you can see right here the, um, ring is left in there so I'm going to pull that out like I said I've got a new one for here and for the plug down there so okay so while that's draining I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, cowl and uh, get started on changing that fuel filter. Okay, so this fuel filter is just a clip in kind. You got a couple of clips right here that hold it down. Come up on that. see that so this one you just press that red right there and it pops right off and then this will come up out of here and you got another clip on this one unfortunately it's on the bottom but so you just push in on those two red clips Here's the replacement one for this particular engine. Hmm. We'll go back in here first. Just snaps in, snap it back into our clips there, and then snap that one back in. Check, everything's good. All right, so that's pretty much it for the fuel filter. So we're gonna start with uh, our oil filter and oil change here on the engine. Um, and the drain is Right there, so we're going to drain the old oil first. Alright, so this is 5 eighths on this little plug. Just loosen that up. There's no reason to remove it completely. Just turn it, and that opens it. So we're going to give that a chance to drain and uh, once it's mostly done we're going to go ahead and work on changing our oil filter. This is what you're going to get on the side here when it gets down to the bottom. Um, once it's finished draining, we'll take this back.
Now that the oil's finished draining, we've closed that valve down there. We're going to go ahead and remove the old oil filter. A little bit of grip tape. Okay, so there's the old filter. And as you can see, there's a little catch pan right there too for that oil. Here's the new filter. God, the, the sun is just terrible, isn't it? This is what uh, tracker maintenance department recommended uh, if you're going to go full synthetic 20W40 synthetic blend uh, quicksilver. So four quarts. Uh, so we've got a total of five and a half quarts. Dipstick. All right, so it's about three quarters on our dipstick, is, and that's the only where I like to see it. So. Okay, so we're going to put the foot level now that it's finished draining. So, what we're going to do, I like I said, I've got new things for both of those. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up from the bottom and we're going to fill it up with gear lube until it comes up out of the top. And you know it's full. We're gonna put this plug back in. That'll create the vacuum again, or the you know suction, so it won't drain. And then we'll pull the filler off 
and put that plug back in down here. Alright, now if you don't have a gear lube pump, you'll have to get one of these. And basically, so this is the gear lube that uh, Tracker recommends for the Mercury, um, and Mercury recommends. So it's the Quicksilver uh, SAE90 gear lube. And this foot should only take a quart or less. Um, but basically what you do is you take this here, and this will screw on to that hole there. And this will go in your court. And that is a gear loop pump. If you don't have one, you'll need to get one of those. in until it starts to come out that top hole and you know it's full. Alright, so there it is and you can give it a couple extra pumps just to kind of wash it out a little bit. Now we're going to tilt the engine back up, take this off, and put this plug back in with the new washer. And this is the 10 millimeter. Alright, now while we've got the prop off, I'm going to go ahead and just check, make sure we don't have any issues with fishing lines stuck in there or anything like that, and we don't, everything looks good. Before I put the prop back on, I'm going to put a little bit of grease on here. Go get my grease gun.
picture this all seal is good too which everything looks good there all right This back on and yeah, there's two little notches right there finish that and go ahead and put the cowl back on So we've got a, a grease fitting right here, we've got one right here, and we've got one right here in the front. Go ahead and grease those up. these wheel bearings at the same time. Pop these little rubber caps off. And your grease fittings right there. Alright, so that's it. We're all finished up. I'm um, not sure how that camera work is going to turn out. Um, the sun was just making it really difficult um, and really bright, so we'll have to see how it turns out. A um, couple of things. The half inch ID hose that I had was, uh, it just kept curling up and collapsing, so I didn't use it. Um, 
and I wasn't going to make a special trip to the hardware store just for that. I used to have some, I uh, can't find it now. So um, I would suggest if you're going to, you know, go get some half inch ID hose, buy something that's uh, a little more rigid um, to drain that oil. I just, uh, it is what it is. I just let it drain down the side and cleaned it up. So uh, no big deal. And then, um, uh, oh, I, uh, that big rubber mallet I used uh, to um, put pressure against the prop so I could loosen that nut up. Um, if you've got a block of wood or if you want to just hold it really tight with your hand, that's fine too, but uh, it just seems easier um, with that big, large rubber mallet. If you happen to have one, like I said, a block of wood is fine too, uh, just as long as you don't damage that prop. Uh, there's not that much torque on that nut. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. Um, if anybody's got any questions, just put them down in the comment. I'll answer them best I can. And um, like I said, I'll put links down there for the what I could find on Amazon as far as the parts go for my uh, 2022 tracker with the 75. Um, so, all right, y'all have a great day. Thanks.